right, I wanted to share this really cool live well. It's easy to make. It's inexpensive. Got it at uh, Wally World. I think it was $15.99. And it's a 48-quart uh, a cooler. Let's have a look inside. What I did was I put a bilge pump in there. Now these are all just spare parts that I had laying around. Got this bilge pump in there and uh, it's like a half inch diameter hose that goes around the, the top. The screws coming into the side. And, uh, right now I'm just using duct tape rolled up and screwed in there. It's holding pretty well. Probably find some plastic strips for it. Then I added this bulkhead here. I believe it's a, uh, a one inch bulkhead. They're fairly inexpensive. I just had it lying around from another project I had. And then the, oh, what it is basically, it's an overflow. Is I can add water to it and, and the, the uh, stale water, the mixed stale water will tend to go on out the overflow, which in turn goes on out a scupper drain there and overboard over the side so pretty nifty little setup here uh, one other thing we do to it is, uh, try to let's take this shot is I use this to wedge it up against there nice and tight because you don't want the fish to sucked into the drain there. There you can see how I've got it wedged up tight up against the cooler. I used a piece of one inch PVC and just cut it to length. Fits in there nice and tight and that holds this up against the cooler wall so the fishies don't get sucked into the impeller and create a problem. Maybe find something that works a little better later but as it is we're going to try this out. Got the hose all curled around through the top. So far, just uh, three of these little holds seem to be enough. I'm going to fill it with water, turn it on. All right, the thing's full of water. Actually, it's a little over full. That's not a problem, though, because it's going right out to overflow and running overboard. I don't know if I showed everybody the way I ran the wires through the cooler just below the lead line there I drilled a hole and ran the wires through it then I wrapped some duct tape duct tape around the wires and made kind of a makeshift gasket and pulled it through and it was tight all right so I've got a switch on this thing nice little on off switch let's turn it on and uh, see how this thing works Lugging that water right out to the side there. It's making a lot of bubbles, as you can see. That's going to aerate the water and keep the fish alive. And I'm able to add constant water through the means of a, a bucket on a rope here. I just drop that over the side, pull it up, and dump it. That'll refresh some of the water, and any of the excess just tends to run. Well, it doesn't tend to, it will. It'll run right through the uh, bulkhead overflow drain. And down now. As you can see, even now, it's, it's draining. It's a little bit slow, but definitely will drain out all the excess water that you dump in there. Okay, so all we need is some fish. We can dip them out of there with our nice little dipping net. He's ready to go fishing, huh? This thing's also more than sturdy enough to sit on. It's going to make a really nice seat when I'm fishing and uh, steering the boat. I'm going to slide it forward here about where my feet are. And uh, I can sit there and be in a much more comfortable position to fish off the back of the boat or to drive, you know, to go forward. Look forward because, you know, when you're sitting on these these bent seats like this it tends your back's going to get a little bit sore so this is a nice addition there 
I got the cushion that goes on top of it, and it's it's really solid. It's just an old igloo cooler from Wally World. Sixteen bucks, fifteen ninety nine or ninety eight, however they want to call it. It's got a nice little on off switch. Stopped it. Started. Well, I hope you enjoyed your video. Subscribe. Be sure to watch my show. Sometimes it's live. It's uh, the Big Porch or Back Porch Fishing Show. Not <laughs> the Big Porch Fishing Show. You might wonder how, how you get the water out of there. That's pretty simple. You just pull the tube out from the, uh, whatever you want to call them, the <laughs> holders. Just run it over the side there. Flip the switch. And voila! Float it right over the side. Since this thing's stuck up against the wall with this piece of PVC, you can loosen the PVC. And believe me, you can get all the water out of there with that sump pump. When it gets down lower, you just grab the side of the cooler here and tilt it up so that you can get it all. I hope you enjoyed this informative video. I think it's a really good uh, thing to have. It's a mobile live well. I mean, you can disconnect it and take it out, put it in your pickup truck, in the trunk of your car. All right, so be sure to watch my show. Sometimes it's live on YouTube, Back Porch Fishing Show. And you can catch it on uh, Saturday and Sunday on WQXT22, A1A TV in uh, Jacksonville and St. Augustine. So be sure to subscribe, look at all my cool videos, and uh, that's it. Go fishing!